Hi, this is Tony Michael Lee, TML the Artist. Welcome to my art studio in Tijuana, Mexico. This painting is called Art Abstracto, TML Mexico 2020. It's some sailboats on the beach, kind of reminds me of the beaches in Tijuana. So, in the background you hear some subliminal tapes by Dr. Lipton. That is very positive. There's nothing negative or weird about it. It's just to help you uh, think positive things because, you know, the MK Ultra, the... Um, FBI Fusion Center is to fill your head with negativity. So, no hate for the uh, MK Ultra CIA. No hate for uh, the FBI Fusion Center. No hate for any criminal spies, because that's all they are—is criminal spies. The good spies get put in jail, or they're um, living in Russia etc. or in hiding someplace. So there's no hate, no judgment. That's just a lie that they make up. But how you can overcome is very simple. First off, you have to admit that the virus is completely fake 100%. If you're awake that much. If you're not awake that much, then it could be real or half real because I get it. I was there once where I was working and I was patriotic and you know I I I signed up for the Vietnam War and quit before I could get drafted but I I would have uh, enlisted too but there wasn't any places in my small town. I lived in such a small town there was no recruiting offices. So I just um I figured well I'm going 100% because I'm in a small town so I just sent in my draft, my draft uh, notice, so that they would realize that I'm available, and just call me, and I'll fulfill my service. And I didn't have to do that because I'm Canadian. At that time, I was just Canadian. I, I didn't have. I could have went to Canada, but I didn't. So, but uh, unfortunately, slash fortunately, probably for me is um, the war ended a couple of weeks or so before, a couple of months, a couple of weeks, in the summer of uh, 1975, approximately. I was driving around my GTO and it was all over, so before I turned 18. But when I was 17, I did get a job with Shell Oil as a contractor, uh, providing security for them drilling a well in eastern Washington in a remote location, a secret uh, well. It's uh, actually, they found gasoline. It's not very important that it's secret. It's not like top secret, it's just secret to them. So these are some paintings. Um, this one was actually finished, I believe in, yeah. It was actually finished in Mexico. A lot of paintings got finished in Mexico. This one is one of them. Not at the place I'm staying in now, but a different place. So I hope you'll like it. I always had this vision of a house out kind of in the jungle or the wilderness. In a remote location. So you can see the boat, the water, and the house, which I think is pretty cool myself. That's my own opinion. I like it. And it's the only thing that matters in art is if you like it. Your songs, whatever you consider art. Your art may be a custodian or a janitor, whatever you like to call it, or working at um, a restaurant. That could be your art. Life is art. And whatever your art is, I fully respect it. I might look like the redneck from hell, 
but I'm more than that. <laughs> I like this painting. Moonlight grapes. I had a vision like you're out in the vineyard at night. Maybe you're drinking a glass of wine. And the moonlight is strong. The sky is clear. And it's shining through your vineyard and you're in the vineyards. And the moonlight goes through some grapes and bounces off the grapes. So that was the purpose of that. This other painting is called Religious Grapes. Um, these are not painted in oil. Well, they are partly oil, yeah. They are part oil and part watercolor. I like the um, to make it look um, three-dimensional. Like the grapes are in the sky, you see, or some clouds, low clouds, or fog, or it's whatever your imagination wants it to be. And there's some religious symbols there, which could be whatever you want. I, I'm not a hater, you know, just, I mean, some people are Jehovah Witness and Mormons, and they really believe that stuff. And I've met some really good ones. So don't think I hate. JWs or Mormons because I certainly do not nor do I hate any government agents and basically I am one you know but I'm an agent who studies the government that's why I'm not like really popular <laughs> on their Christmas card list hey why don't we invite Tony Michael Lee to our Christmas party let's not <laughs> right let's not because they think I'm going to be uh, gathering information on them and the crime right now, the big crime, is the fake virus, okay? No hate for any government, no hate for any the FBI, no hate for the CIA. They hate themselves. Plenty, you know. Plenty good. I don't think they need me. They're, like I said, there's no more, no place, let me make this clear, that has more mental health problems than the CIA and friends, the intelligence community worldwide. Because they're taught like lying is okay. They don't call it lying. They call it pretext, pretexting. In other words, pretending. <laughs> so, but that's not good for your health. And all these little princess laws are not constitutional, so they fix that. They don't have a constitution which also is totally illegal because you can't X out the, con the Constitution with the Patriot Act. But the main thing is they just worship Satan, so <laughs> that's the bottom line. And you can just call them gang stalkers. Anyone who harasses you undercover or even in uniform in an orchestrated, planned manner is a gang stalker. That's all there is to it. So that keeps it real simple for you, right? Remember, they'll monitor your electronic devices, like mine right now is on the internet. But I want them to see it, because this can help them. Because anyone can change, and a lot of them do. Edward Snowden was hell-bent on a mission from the CIA. Fake passport, fake name, fake ID, everything. Driver's license, different person working for a large corporation, making a ton of money for a corporation and a fake job, basically a CIA company. This one is called A House in the Country. So it took a while for the vision to come. It took a while for the dream to come into a vision and the execution. So, sometimes the execution happens quickly, and sometimes it doesn't. This painting more reminded me of uh, Bogota, Colombia, or someplace in Colombia.
The thing of it is, I'm not out to screw up people's lives, and I would just like the intelligence community to stop thinking that screwing up people's lives is going to make the Messiah come. <laughs> okay? Or screwing up people's lives who are worthless eaters is going to make uh, you feel better about yourself. Because I have studied you and myself, because I'm one of you, and found that um, nobody's more lost than intelligence officers. I've seen you shaking. I've seen you nervous. I've seen you in fear. You're mind-controlled slaves. And, but some of you still break away occasionally and try to act normal for a few minutes, you know. But then you slip back into the role because you you uh, you like the money. <laughs> the money's good, right? It's not good doing what I do because I investigate you. But I don't put you in jail, do I? No, I don't. I post some videos, but not all. Just enough for self-defense. But the others can be used. If necessary. Some, I just hide them in cyberspace. So, so hidden that I can't even find them. That's one method of security. The other ones are just floating around in cyberspace. Anybody can find them. But they're there. Some people have, physically, videos. So, you know, it's all good. I feel pretty comfortable about it. How do you feel? <laughs> you don't care. You just do whatever your master says, right? I guess something in your childhood was really horrible that you need somebody to boss you around. And you need an earpiece. You know, to tell you what to say, and I don't need that. I live spontaneously. That's why I defeat you. You're all fakes and you're all phonies. The more you stalk me, the more I terminate you. <laughs> I can see the damage, and it's good. And you deserve it 100%. It's, it's an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Read your Torah. That's the first time I've ever said that. But I'll say it. Because I do read the Torah. And I've read it for years. Decades. In English. But I find you don't know the Torah. Oh, you have to ask a rabbi about that. Really? That doesn't say that in the Torah. Isaiah the prophet found thy words and he ate them. It says, you need to know the Torah, the Bible. You. Not just a rabbi. That's religion. It's got nothing to do with Judaism. The Talmud, Zola, Kabbal, Kabbalah. You know, the teachings... How to, how to understand the Bible. Okay, all the other miscellaneous new books about the, the cabal. Great, fantastic. Those are opinions from men. It's not the anointed word of God in English. Okay, it sounds cooler in Hebrew and Yiddish. I get it. It's not the anointed word of God. The Bible, the five books of Moses. Psalms and Proverbs... The books of the patriarchs, like Ruth, those are the anointed words of God. That'll help you. You have to be like Isaiah the prophet, though. You have to find thy words and eat them. You just, oh, I'm Jewish. No, you know you're not. Oh, yeah, I am. I've got the lineage. That doesn't make you Jewish. That just makes you have lineage. <laughs> that probably is not accurate, considering God kind of let that be stomped out, didn't he? Because of pride, right? You know, there's this slavery and everything else. If God wants to make problems on this earth, that's fine. 
But don't you make problems for people and think you're God and that God is using you to test other people because he'll send somebody like me to test you. And then, boom, God wins, like always. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Tony Michael ETML The Artist, also Bronco Rothschild, two characters I play on my YouTube channel called British Comedy Disturbed Artists. You like it, you don't like it, I don't care. Could care less. I like it, and it's my mitzvah to the world, which is a gift from God through man. Something Jewish people know about and rarely do. Okay, it's just like Christianity. The churches are full of fake Christians. Synagogues are full of fake Jewish people. Islam is full of fake Muslims. That's just the way it is. You know, it's just the way it is. But, you know, it changes, it recycles. The dead can become resurrected. You can become resurrected from your death. You really can.